Hey guys, I'm back with my haul video. Um, I have a, one thing I ordered from Amazon and a couple other things that I got off uh, Marketplace on Facebook and at a local thrift shop. So, um, I ordered um, a bunch of these plastic bottles off of Amazon. Um, my daughter was complaining and getting really upset because she didn't have glue like mommy because all she had was the Elmer's glue bottle. And she wants to be able to glue, like, little things and not have, like, a big gob of glue. So, um, I've been needing to buy these for a while now because the tips on my glues, they don't stay unclogged very well. But I've heard good things about these uh, bottles. So I picked these up and then it has a rubber stopper that connects to the bottle that you can just uh, pop on there that way you keep it nice and sealed and you don't have to worry about losing a pin like I do with this one so but yeah so I ordered a bunch of these off Amazon because I didn't need a bunch but that's all they came in so um, as for my marketplace haul I picked up some stamps um, from a lady because she had some like religious type stamps um and I um I get together with these ladies I've only gotten together once just to see what it was about but they get together and they make cards for uh, veterans and different uh, different uh, events and different organizations um they make cards for them um it's through the church so they make a lot of like religious type cards and stuff like that. Well, I don't have religious type stamps. I'm not a religious type of person. But um I seen these stamps on there and I was like, "You know what? That'd be perfect for that group." So I picked up a bunch of religious type stamps for them, especially Easter cuz we're they're working on Easter right now. Um just because why not? Lady had a bunch of other stamps, so I picked those up for myself uh, while I was meeting with her. Because some of these, they don't need, because they only make certain types of cards. So, um, these I picked up. Um, I picked up some Christmas ones. Season's greetings. This one reminds me of, like, 4th of July. Fireworks. You got Santa. And then this one, I craft a lot at Christmas, so that would be perfect. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to share the ones I got for them, because those are out my car, waiting for me to drop them off. So, and then there's uh, Stampin' Up! Seasonal sp Sprays. So there's Fall, looks like Spring and Christmas. And it's just a bunch of different floral there's the Christmas and then here's the fall with the acorns so I'll probably be unmounting most of these and putting them on easy mount foam now when I do that I don't know because I probably shouldn't have been buying these to begin with because uh, yeah money right now just yeah, everything's going up and just everything going on. So it's probably going to be a while till I can mount these because uh, Easy Mount Foam is not cheap. So, and then I picked up this Stampin' Up! one. Um, it says Birthday Flowers. Basically, it has a flower for every month. So I thought that was pretty. It would be pretty to color and do birthday cards even with. So, I thought that would be cute. So, and then this one was super cute. It's a fall. Hello. I know a lot of people are trying to do away with the wooden stamps and just have clear cling stamps. But, I still like the wooden ones. I just unmount them. For the most part. I mean, like these little ones, I might be able to still stamp and get a clear image. But, a lot of times I struggle getting clear images. And, um... A trick I've learned is using like a mouse pad underneath where you stamp. This one is bold and bright, it says. 
I don't know if that's right, but it's by Stampin' Up! and it's Borders. So I thought that was cute. And then this one is We Wishes. I thought those mice were super cute. So that is my Marketplace haul. Now, as for my thrift haul, um, I picked up this bag there for like eight bucks. And it came with a bunch of stickers and some other randomness, plus some stamp sets. So, and some of these I already have. I couldn't see what was in it. The bag was shut. But this is Stampin' Up! A Little Love. Never you Well, it looks like some of those have been used. You got this Big J. If you guys have any ideas on what to use the big letters for, let me know. This one I thought was so cute. I was so excited about. Um, it's a dog one by Stampin' Up. So I thought that was cute. And then this one is a big P. So I got that. And then I have a huge C as well. And then I have a whole alphabet by Stampin' Up. Looks like there's two different fonts. Because there's this one and this one. And there's two stamps on each. So it looks like I might have lowercase and uppercase. So that's kind of nice. And then it came with these door hangers. These foam door hangers. Well, if you look at how thick that foam is, I was just talking about how I needed to find thicker foam for my um, shakers. I'm wondering if I can use these to die cut some of that. Just a thought. And then it came with a bunch of foam letters and googly eyes. A random butterfly. It came with a couple packs of these like fish beads. Kind of hard to see inside the packages, but they're these fish that glass fish that are beads. Came with this chocolate banner. It came with a bunch of stickers. Mostly letters. It came with these fake eggs. Perfect for Easter right now. These little metal clips. This ribbon for baby. Some more stickers. These little bumblebees. And then another thing of stickers. So yeah, that is my haul. Um, just thrifting and all that stuff. Spending money I probably shouldn't, but I figured I was in the area. I figured I'd check it out and see what they had. Plus, all the money goes to a good cause, so... Um, I like to do that. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty time. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.